everyone, welcome back. This is a 15 minutes full body Pilates workout. Let's get started on our hands and knees to wake up our spine. Inhale to soften the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the head. Exhale, draw the belly button in, tuck the tailbone and tuck the chin in. Every inhalation, we're working on opening up through the front body, slightly looking up. And on the exhalation, we're rounding through the back and pulling the belly button in towards the spine. Gently waking up the spine and pairing our breath with our movement. Inhaling to open the chest, exhaling to round through the back. Come back to a neutral position and lower your elbows down onto the mat. We're going to continue with the same movement, inhaling to soften the belly and open the chest and exhale to round through the back. Getting the elbows and the forearms down just allows us to get a little more into the thoracic spine, the upper spine. Mindfully moving, really allow your breath to guide your movements and open the chest on the inhale and then round through the back on the exhale. Come back to a neutral position after this round and then slide your knees back, slither your way down, keeping the elbows under the shoulders, energize through the legs, inhale to lift the chest and elongate through the neck and exhale to lower everything down. Bring the hands under your forehead, elongate through the legs and on the inhalation lift one leg up, exhale to lower. Inhale, other leg comes up and lower on the exhale. Keep switching one leg after the other and remember to keep your hips nice and quiet. It's just the legs moving, the shoulders and the head are relaxed. Energize through the legs and try to keep those legs nice and straight even as you lift up. Keep breathing, inhaling to lift, exhaling to lower. Really good. Elongate through the legs. Inhale to lift the head and the chest off the floor now and exhale to lower. Keep the legs on the floor. It's just the upper body moving. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Really using the strength of the back muscles to lift the chest and then exhale lower. Inhale lift. Keep it lifted and lower down. Good. This time we're going to hold the chest lifted and swim the arms back, palms face one another, neck is long and exhale to lower everything down. Reach your arms overhead now by the sides of your ears and really elongate through the entire body. We're going to hover the head and the chest off the floor and then lift one arm and the opposite leg up, lower down. Inhale, switch lower down. Keep the head and the chest hovering off the floor. Elongate through the body from the tips of your toes to your fingertips, keeping the hips nice and quiet and the neck long. Good. Keep breathing. Last one. And lower everything down, bring your hands under the shoulders, tuck your toes under, inhale and on the exhale press away from the ground, send your hips towards your heels and stretch out your back in a child's pose. We're going to make our way into a tabletop position, making sure the wrists are under the shoulders, belly button in towards the spine and neck long. Extend one leg behind you and then the other leg coming into a plank position. Now lift one foot off the floor and lower it down. Inhale, lift the other foot. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Keep the rest of the body still and lower. Good job. Knees come down. Tuck your toes. And let's give our wrists a little love. Make fists and circle the wrists around. Reverse the circle. And let's come back into a tabletop position making sure your neck stays long. Extend the legs behind you to come into a strong plank. This time, we're going to lift the left foot off the floor, bend the knee, point the toes up towards the ceiling, and then drive the knee in towards the elbow. 
every inhalation point the toes up and lift them up towards the sky and on the exhale draw the knee in towards the elbow good plant the knee down reach the left arm nice and high towards the ceiling opening up the chest exhale to thread the arm under twist the upper spine inhale to open exhale think of revolving your rib cage around your spine good and then come back to center bring back the knee down to the floor and take one round of cat and cow just to ease out the spine a little bit good wrists are under the shoulders stretch the legs behind you coming into a strong plank lift the right toes off the floor up towards the ceiling and then drive the knee in towards the elbow inhale up exhale knee to elbow really keep the rest of the body still belly button in drop the right knee down reach the right arm up towards the ceiling exhale scoop the arm under inhale open the chest exhale thread the arm under beautiful movement to mobilize the upper spine while at the same time working on the abdominal muscles tuck the toes under one more time and just flex and extend through your wrists to give your wrists a little stretch good job we're going to now lie down on the left side of our body, stretch the left arm and rest the head on the arm. Both the legs are nice and straight, bottom waist is lifting off the floor and hips are stacked. Lift both your legs off the floor and lower. Every inhale lift, exhale lower. Keep those hips nice and stacked and quiet. Good. Glue your legs together and lift. We're going to now keep them lifted and then just lift the top leg up and down, up and down. Again, keep those hips stacked and quiet. The bottom leg is hovering off the floor and now we're going to keep the top leg still and lower the bottom leg and lift. Good. Next is the scissor movement. Just scissor the legs forward and back. Again, keeping those hips nice and quiet. Breathe through your movements. And then come back to center. Lower the legs down. Bring your elbow under the shoulder. Bend your knees at a three-quarter bend. Lift the bottom waist up and off the floor. Reach the left arm up exhale to scoop the arm under open the knee as you open the arm up exhale scoop and thread the arm under you can either keep going here or for a little more of a challenge you're going to lift the hips off the floor as you open the knee and open the arm and then thread the arm under inhale open exhale thread so this is an option you want to stay with the previous variation you can stick to that adding on you're going to extend the leg bring the foot back and come back reach the arm up open the knee extend the leg foot comes back down close the knee, th thread the arm under and then lift the leg and do little pulses lift and lift without collapsing into the shoulder bring the foot back down and lower the knee good job before moving on to the other side bring the soles of your feet together inhale to open the chest and exhale round through the back tuck your chin in towards the chest and then slowly stack one bone over the other come back to a seated position and swing the legs over to the other side this time we are on the right side of the body extend the right arm stack your hips bottom waist lifts off the floor glue your legs together energize through the legs and lift both the legs off the floor inhale exhale down lift inhale exhale down really think of lifting through the waist working on those abdominals now let's keep the legs lifted and glued together 
and then we're going to just move the top leg up and down up down three more times keep the hips stacked and then start to move just the lower leg keep the top leg slightly above hips level so that the bottom leg has a little challenge and now start to scissor the legs forward and back keep your abs tight and your hips stacked keep going make sure you're breathing and then lower your legs down bend the knees bring the elbow down under the shoulder lift the bottom waist up and up and off the floor inhale to open the arm and exhale thread the arm under opening the knee out every time you lift the arm keep your feet glued together so you can stick to this or if you want a little more when you open the arm you lift the hips good think of lifting up through that bottom waist pressing away from the ground through the elbow scoop it under exhale inhale open good job and we're going to add on if you're ready you're going to open the knee extend the leg bring the foot back close the knee scoop the arm under one more time open the knee lift the hip extend and scoop under good extend the leg i know this is hard you can do it and do little pulses keeping the hips lifted if possible bring the feet back together and lower the knees good now come onto your glutes and bring the elbows under the shoulders really work on gathering the ribs in keeping the belly button in towards the spine and the chest open tiptoe your feet close to your sitting bones and then lift the legs into a tabletop extend the legs nice and straight and start to scissor the legs bringing the legs out at a diagonal energize through the legs and keep moving the legs in this scissor movement keeping the core tight the chest lifted and the belly button in towards the spine bend the knees into that tabletop position and we're just going to work on pressing the feet away from us and then bringing the knees back inhale press away exhale knees in good keep breathing inhale extend exhale bend and then lower your feet down onto the mat and carefully and slowly lower all the way down onto your back take a moment to shuffle the shoulder blades up towards the top edge of the mat creating space in your spine plant your feet down reach the arms overhead towards the crown Scoop the belly in, lift the tailbone and come into a bridge pose as the arms come back to the starting position. Every time you're lifting your hips, you're pressing your feet into the ground. Inhale to reach the arms overhead, exhale to lift the hips up. Inhale, slide the hips down, exhale, lift them up, kneecaps come forward. Now we're going to slowly start to lift one heel off the floor at a time, keeping the hips nice and level. Keep the chin away from the chest, ribs gathered in. Keep breathing. And then slowly and carefully slide your spine back onto the mat and just windshield wiper your knees side to side to release your lower back. Good. Interlace the fingers behind your head. Inhale and on the exhalation, look towards the center and curl the head and shoulders off the floor. Every inhale, lower the head and shoulders. Every exhale, scoop the belly in, gather your ribs and lift the head and shoulders. Keep going with your breath, curling up as a result of your exhale. Now stay up, reach the arms towards your feet and slide your shoulder blades side to side, reaching your fingertips towards your heels, working on the obliques. Keep breathing, reach the fingertips towards your heels and then slowly lower everything down. Hug your knees in towards the chest. 
take a breath here and then bring the soles of your feet together in a reclined butterfly posture let gravity pull your knees down breathe here and then slowly use your hands to guide your knees back together drop both the knees to one side and use your hands to come into a seated position stretch your legs out in a v position nice and wide and bring your arms up towards the ceiling we're going to take a side bend reach your right arm down towards the floor and reach the left arm overhead and to the side and stretch out the other side good we're going to walk our hands forward and then inhale to reach the heart forward exhale allow the chest to melt down towards the floor take a couple of breaths here surrendering more into this fold with every breath and then walk the hands back towards you cross your legs and thank yourself for making it to the mat thank you for joining me